today is about my sister, our sister. A young lady who should have had a bright and happy future to look forward to. A future that was denied her. Binny did not have a long life, and 22 years on, we still feel pain over the circumstances of her death. We feel that justice will help us to move on and get some closure. We are proud to have been able to help the police in their investigations, and I want to thank personally everyone who willingly came forward and supplied valuable information. It has been a long and difficult time coming, and we feel that Billy will finally be allowed to rest in peace following an uplifting and sensitive service given at her graveside by the Reverend Anne Charlton, and we thank her for that. It is encouraging to us that Binny's story may serve to help others by raising awareness of problems at an early age. At least then she will have made a valuable contribution in her short life, and her legacy can live on. Thank you. I used the poem Footsteps in the Sand, which I'm sure some of you are familiar with, um, because the family have been going through a very difficult time, obviously, and, and that poem is about the Lord carrying us when we can't bear our burdens on our own. And so I use that as the basis for the address, um, because hopefully it was able to offer some comfort to the family. Um, How did it all go? How did the family receive it? Well, the family seemed to appreciate um, the words, so one hopes we pitched it for them, which is what it's all about, really. They're obviously very unusual services that don't come up very often. How emotional a service was this for you and for, for the family here? Well, I think any service when we've lost a loved one is emotional, when you've got the exceptional circumstances added on. Um, but they all cope very well with it and uh, were well prepared. And the police have been absolutely wonderful in the way they have dealt with everything, which has made life much easier. We hear a little wobble in your voice. You're relatively new here. How has it been for you these past few days? Well, it's obviously a difficult time, but when we decide, God decides that we are to be ordained, we are confronted with all sorts of different situations, and with the help of God, we work through them.